All right, so you brought home your baby chicks, you waited a while, now they're all grown up, you set up the chicken coop, um, you feed them, they have water, they're protected, but they're still not laying any eggs. Um, what gives? There are actually several reasons why your hens may not be laying eggs. So if you've ever found yourself wondering why has my chicken never laid an egg, then this video is for you. Hey, chicky chickies. You want a free range? Go ahead. Hey guys and welcome back to Mini Urban Farm, a channel about urban gardening and homesteading in the suburbs. Today we are talking about why chickens are not laying eggs. Now there are several reasons why your hens may not be laying eggs and we're going to cover them in today's video. And also if you prefer to read this information instead of watch it in video, we have an entire blog post that you can pin um, and save for later as well. I will leave the link in the description below. Um, it goes through even more tips and tricks on getting chickens to lay their eggs um, more productively. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so the first reason is that your hens are simply not old enough. Now hens start laying eggs at around five or six months of age. Um, our hens actually started laying at about five months. We brought our first chicks home in September and by the middle of February, we had our very first egg. Um, it depends on the breed and our chickens happen to be all different breeds. So we started getting eggs that first, um, that first time in the middle of February. And then in about a month, all of the rest of them had followed suit. So by the end of February, beginning of March, um, we were having about six or seven eggs a day and now fast forward another month or two we have eggs um, about eight eggs a day the second reason is that you have a rooster so it can happen sometimes that even if you bring home what you think are baby hens um, or pullets they are actually roosters now this is quite common unfortunately um, feather sexing is not 100 accurate um, it really does depend on the breed and there are some breeds that you can't actually tell until they get a little bit older so it's not uncommon to bring home what you think are hens only to turn out to be a rooster a couple months later some signs that you may actually have a rooster instead of a hen are crowing. Um, now, hens do kind of crow and make noises too, so that's not a telltale sign, but if you hear the distinctive rooster crow, then you probably have a rooster. Some sort of dominance or aggression towards the other hens. Now, the same thing, this can be with hens as well. Um, some hens are more aggressive, but I found that when we brought home our baby chicks, I was able to tell that we had a rooster because he was getting a little bit bigger and he was being a little bit more dominant than the other ones. And then the third way is he is mounting the other hens. Now, of course, this is something that only roosters do. Um, generally, by the time that a rooster begins mounting the other hens to do their thing, um, you can probably tell other ways that you have a rooster because it looks like a rooster. <laughs> So we actually do keep a rooster in our flock. Um, we have 10 hens and one rooster. It wasn't on purpose. We just happened to um, get baby chicks at Tractor Supply one day and we just never got rid of him. So we love him. His name is Nugget, um, but we keep him around just to you know, produce more chickies later on. Okay, so the third reason that your hens may not be laying is because of the sunlight. Now hens need between 14 to 16 hours of light per day, which is quite a lot. Here in Florida, we don't really have a problem with sunlight, right? Because our, our hens are getting sunlight all year round, but in colder climates um, where the hours of daylight do tend to decrease a lot in winter, then that might be a problem. When there is less light in the environment naturally, then your hens go through a hormonal response, which ultimately means a decrease in egg production. One way to get them to continue laying if it's due to the lack of light is to provide them with artificial light um, in the coop or somewhere near the coop. All right, so reason four is that you have a broody hen. So if your hens are happy and healthy and there's plenty of sunshine um, and you still are not getting eggs from one of those specific hens or from multiple hens, you might have a hen that has gone broody, which means that she is in maternity mode. So for the next 21 days, she will be sitting on those eggs, which means no eggs for you. There are a few signs that you have a broody hen. Um, a good one is that she refuses to leave her nesting box, right? She is protecting those eggs and she refuses to get up. And if you get close, then she is going to show signs of aggression. Hey Nutmeg, what are you doing? Are you guarding those eggs? Broody hens may also begin plucking out their breast feathers to make that nest um, really nice and comfortable for their new baby chicks. And if you don't see anything around the coop, like a nest or you know hens that are being incubated by a broody hen, then just go ahead and check around the coop because chickens are notorious for nesting in places that are not their nesting box. All right, so the fifth reason is stress. This could be anything from a drastic change in weather to overcrowding in the coop, um, nearby predators, or dehydration or lack of food. So if you're not checking your food and water consistently, I think this is probably the easiest one to prevent. Um, I know that when we first got chickens, we definitely thought that you know they were eating about, I think it was like 
five or ten pounds uh, a week and then all of a sudden they grew up and that really got a lot more so there were a couple days where we did not get used to checking it on a consistent basis um, and they ran out of food or they were getting low on their food so that is one of the reasons why we decided to build a very 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 large chicken feeder that holds up to 185 pounds if you want to see the entire video of us actually building out that feeder I will link it up in um, in the notes here or in the description or something like that so you can see the entire thing that prevents us from having to fill their food on a a daily basis on a weekly basis um, we go now about one or two months without having to even touch it on that same note sickness can prevent your hens from actually laying eggs so if your chickens are coming down with mites um, lice anything of that sort parasites then it is a likely reason why your chickens are not laying any eggs Signs that your chickens have come down with some sort of illness include scratching themselves on a constant regular basis, um, their, their combs and their, I think it's called a waddle or waddle or something like that, they get kind of, you know, pale, and then difficulty breathing is another sign that they are getting sick. So if that is the case, if you are noticing any signs of, um, of illness in your chickens, not only get it treated, um, but just continue to watch for it in the future because, you know, you want to have healthy, happy chickens for the sake of the chicken, but you also want to get your eggs, which is, you know, one of the reasons why we keep chickens. Molting is another reason why you may not be getting any eggs. Uh, generally, this happens around the fall time in preparation for winter. They lose um, feathers and then they regrow them so that they are, you know, brand new fluffy feathered out for winter time. This does begin around 18 months of age, so if you are you know, getting eggs on a consistent basis and then your chickens get to about a year and a half old and it's around fall, winter, the temperatures are dropping, then it is a good indication that your chickens are going through their annual molt. This will happen on a regular basis every year um, for the entire time that you have your chickens and you should not be expecting to get any eggs during that period of time. Now, everything is normal, there's nothing wrong with the chickens, just know that once they are done with their molt, then it will pick back up again and you will be getting your eggs. There are some ways that you can actually encourage your hens to lay more eggs and lay eggs on a regular basis. Um, you want to make sure that the nesting spaces are comfortable for them, that they are clean, um, being the most important one, that there is not, you know, a whole bunch of chicken poop around the coop. You want to make sure you have a clean coop and good laying environment for them. You also want to make sure that if you do have a rooster in the coop with the chickens and with the hens, that the rooster is not being overly aggressive because that does cause stress for your hens and then it might actually um, be less eggs for you. You also want to look for any signs of predators, any holes in the coop, anything you know um, like holes around the the outer layer of the coop on the floor make sure that nothing has been trying to dig into the coop and make its way inside um, because if your chickens are being stressed out by the predators around their coop then they will likely be a little flustered and lay less eggs you also want to make sure that your hens are getting plenty of water on a regular basis um, and plenty of high quality layer food now chickens need um, layer food if they are layer chickens um, you can feed your chickens crumble until they are about I think four or five months old once you realize that they are getting close to that laying age or if they have just started laying then I would encourage you to switch over to a high quality layer feed so that they are getting their nutrient requirements. You also want to make sure that if your chickens are coming down with any sort of illness you treat it in a timely manner. You don't want to let your chickens be sick for long periods of times because it could actually have very detrimental effects on their overall health and ultimately even mean death for the chicken. Now for more information on raising chickens for eggs um, definitely visit our website it's miniurbanfarm.com um, we have an entire blog post covering all of this information and even more tips on the best chicken breeds for egg laying. I hope this video was helpful. It was definitely an experience for me when I brought home my first baby chicks to find out that they were not going to produce eggs for quite a few months. Um, so if it was helpful, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more information on chickens, um, urban gardening, urban homestead, all of that, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.